In our last video, we looked at making the connectors for the shunt. We'll now look at how to set up the shunt to be configured. Start by attaching the retaining clip to each of the connectors. The connectors should be ready for the retaining clips when there is a clear gap between each of the terminals. Complete this process for the other two connectors. We are now ready to set up the shunt. From left to right, the wires are plus 12 volts, can low, can high, and ground. Ensure you have your 120 ohm termination resistor on the right. To configure your shunt, you will need a 12 volt supply, ground, can low connection to the board, and can high connection to the board. The Damien Maguire VCU boards and CAN DEWEY usually come with two CAN ports, CAN0 and CAN1. Looking at the ISO demo software, we can see that the default is CAN0. In this demonstration, we are using the LEAF VCU board. Looking at version 1.5 of the software, we can see that CAN0 is the inverter port. CAN high and CAN low are found on pins 4 and 5 of the inverter plug. For the Lexus GS450H VCU board, ensure you have version 2 of the hardware. For the CAN0 port, CAN high can be found on pin 18 and CAN low on pin 19 of plug A. You'll need to download the is a demo sketch file and the accompanying library files. These can be found on the wiki section of the Open Inverter website. Along with the ISA library file, you'll also need to install the Dewey CAN library. This can be found here on GitHub. To use the Dewey CAN library, you must also download the CAN Common library. This can also be found on GitHub. Whether using the CAN Dewey or one of the VCU boards, you'll need to ensure that you have the Arduino Dewey native USB port installed in the Boards Manager. Connect your CAN Dewey or VCU board via USB. Once you have the board and the correct port selected, you may now upload the ISA demo sketch file. You can access the IVTS output information via the serial monitor. This shunt has already been configured, but an unconfigured shunt would give out random numbers. To configure the shunt, simply enter the initialization I command into the serial monitor. Your shunt is now configured. To finish, simply reset the 12 volt power supply to the IVTS shunt. To test the shunt, I will be using the setup found in the IVTS datasheet. In the test setup, we have a 12 volt battery. We have the voltage sensor connected upstream of the load. We are using a 12 volt 5 amp light bulb for the load, and we are using a switch to complete the circuit. Looking at the serial monitor, we can see that the voltage is detected from V3 and that the current sensor is also working. To finish off, you can now upload the VCU code back onto the board in use. A quick test shows that the information is being detected by the board and is being displayed through the web interface. This completes the demonstration on how to configure the IVTS CAN shunt.